What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a map to your app with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a map to your Kivi app. And you can see we can drag and drop, we can zoom, we can pan in, pan out, do all the things. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One straight from your Python file and then also through a Kivi file. So a couple different methods here, are a little tricky and we're going to get into it in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kivi videos in this series, over 50 so far. So check those out if you haven't so far. So I've got just a very basic starter code here and I'm calling this map.py. And you can see we've only got one line here. We're just importing Kivi MD app, right? So the first thing we need to do is head over to our terminal and pip install some things. And like I said, we're going to do this two different ways. And there are sort of two ways you can install this thing. You can pip install it or you can use the garden flower installation thing. We kind of talked about that in the last video when we did the matplotlib thing. So we're actually going to be using both of those because using it on the Kivi file, I find is a little easier just using the garden version of this versus the pip install version. I'm not sure if they're any different actually, but you can get errors if you don't do this. So we're just going to install both of them, right? So let's go pip install map view. And I've already got that on my computer. So it says that of course it'll install on yours. And then we also want to go garden. And then we also want to go garden install map view. And again, I've already got this. So it says you're good to go. If you haven't installed it already, it'll go ahead and install. Now you also need Kivi garden. So I think I talked about in the last video how to install that. If you don't know, go back and watch that video. It's in the playlist. So, okay, we're good to go there. So the first method I'm going to show you to use this is straight from your Python file. We're not going to be using any Kivi files for this. We can do it all straight from Python. So the first we need to import this guy. So let's go from Kivi underscore garden dot map view. We want to import map view. Okay. Now let's come down here and create a class and I'm just going to call this map view app. And we can pass in our MD app guy there. And let's just define a build function like we normally would. And inside of here, let's create a variable called map view. Call it anything you want, but this is a map view. So I'm going to call it map view. And this is going to be a map view function. And inside of here, we pass in some options. So we could set the zoom level. So how much do we want to zoom in on this map by default? I'm going to put this at 10. It's between 1 and 20, 1 and 19, something like that. I think 1 and 19. So one is all the way zoomed out, 19 is all the way zoomed in. So I'm just going to put it about the halfway mark. Next, we can tell this thing where to put itself by default. So these are latitude and longitude numbers. So if you're familiar with latitude and longitude, you're probably not. Who is? If you want a specific place, you're just going to have to Google it. So I Googled it for Las Vegas and the latitude number for Vegas is 36 point something, something, something. So we could just put 36 or you could put the dot something, something, something. You could be as specific as you want with this, or you don't have to be. The longitude is negative 115 point, you know, something, something, something. I'm just going to put negative 115. So that's really all we need to do. So now we can return our map view. And that's kind of all there is to it. So down here outside of this class, we need to finish up our app with a map view app dot run like we always would. And that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this, head over to our terminal and run this guy. But before we do that, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos and books. One time fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, got to pay the bills. <laughs> so let's go Python map.py. And when we do, boom, we get a map. It's logged in. It's zoomed in. 10, 11, whatever we put, we can use our scroll wheel on our mouse to sort of zoom in. You can also right click and create a little dot anywhere and then hold down your mouse button and pull in and out to zoom. And this is sort of mimicking a double pinch function on a, you know, touchpad or something. You can click this to, to remove it. And that's all there is to it. So if we come back here, and let's look at this really quickly. If we wanted to just take all of this off, we could do that. We save this and run it again. You see, we get this sort of default thing. It hasn't picked in, up anything here. We can drag it around. We can zoom it in, right? And all the things, obviously that's not great. So I definitely recommend putting in these, uh, coordinates to start with. 
and that's all there is to it. So that's the first way, straight from the Python file. Now, what if we wanted to do this from a Kivi file? Well, let's go ahead and create a new file, a couple of new files actually, and let's go file, save as, and let's call this map2.python, and let's call this map2.kv, and let's build this guy out. So I just pasted in our normal KV starter code that we always do. We have the builder, the MD app. We're designating here, we wanna use map2.kv, and that's just totally normal. So, so now we wanna build out the same functionality from the last code, but you do it on a KV file. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. First, we need to import all that stuff. So let's come up here to the top and type import map view, and then that's from kivi.garden dot map view dot map view notice the capitalization there and here we could just create a map view instance here and do the same thing we did here right we're just going to do it right here so we could start out with latitude and let's put that at 36 now we want longitude we want this to be negative 115 we want the zoom to be 10, and that's it, right? So if we go ahead and save this, that should be all we need. So let's head back over here. Let's go Python map2.py. Ooh, and we get an error. I probably misspelled. Yeah, I saved this as KIV. <laughs> all right, so let's go file save as map2.kv. That's weird. All right, so now, that looks right. Run this guy again. And here we go. Now this is not zooming into the place we expect. So what did I do wrong? Latitude, oh, lawn M. There we go, all the typos today. All right, one more time, let's try this guy. And boom, now we get our Vegas map as we would expect. And there we go. I live over here somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere in this little block here, northwest side of Vegas. Very cool. And that's all there is to it. So there's some more functionality you can add to this. If you guys are interested, comment in the comment section below. And we'll get into this in more detail in a future video. In this video, I just want to show you the basic functionality, how to slap it up. You can start to play around with it yourself if it's something you're interested in. It's a really quick and easy way to add a map to your app and really not that much to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.